here today for Lawn Fawn and for today's project I'm going to be making an easel card. I've been really into making different folds of cards lately so I wanted to continue that and make a card or a folded card that I have never made before. So I don't think I've ever made an easel card before but they seem really fun and I thought that it would work perfectly with my design for today. I'll be using the Critters in the Jungle stamp set as well as the Slow Down and Enjoy and Big Scripty Words stamp sets as well. So to start, I am making my base of my card. So I've taken a piece of Nina Solo White cardstock that is cut to 8.5 by 11 inches and I am just making my first cut at 5.5 inches on the long side and this is what's going to create my base. So now I'm making two score lines. I am first scoring at 3 and 3 quarter inches. Then I'm pulling out the arm of my trimmer and scoring at 7.5 inches as well. And this just ensures that I've got two panels that are the same size so that's going to be like my main base of my card so they're going to measure three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches and then for the base of my uh, easel card it's going to be a little bit skinnier because I didn't have a longer piece of cardstock but that is fine because once it stands up just like so um, it's not going to matter how large that panel is on the bottom it still leaves me enough room and it leaves me a great amount to do my scene. So now that my base has all been folded, I'm going to set that off to the side and work on my colouring. So I've just stamped down a ton of images from both of those sets, the Slow Down and Enjoy and Critters in the Jungle, and I'm going to begin colouring. So I'm using my Copic markers and I'm just doing some basic dark to light colouring. I'm trying to use a ton of different colours, so like different shades of brown and things like that, um, just because I want them to be a little bit more interesting and for them all to look different. So um, when I colour like Critters in the Jungle or... Um, like sort of like woodland critters or something like that I do love to use a lot of different browns just so they are all quite a bit different so I've started off with coloring in my elephant which I just colored him in some with some very light grays then I colored in my sloth using some e40s some darker e40s for his face and claws and some lighter e40s for his fur and eyes and now I'm coloring in all of my greenery so I'm using all of the same greens for this. You could definitely change it up and use like three different shades of green for all of the um, plants and things like that. But I was just trying to keep it simple. I knew I had a lot of colouring to do on this card. So I just coloured them in all of the same way. So I'm just using YG17, YG25 and YG03 to blend that all together. Once I finish up all of the colourings of my leaves, I'm going to move on to the monkey. For my monkey, I am using my favourite E50 colours, so I'm using the dark E50s for his main body. So I'm using E59, E57 and then E55 as my lightest. Once I've finished colouring in the monkey's body, I'm going to move on to his face. So I'm going to keep with the E55, but I'm also going to bring in E53 and also E50. Then I'm moving on to my little parrot, so I'm using some red for his main part of his body and then I'm interchanging some blue and yellow for his feathers and then I'm also using the same yellow for the beak and his feet and also the little bananas that um, I have all bunched together for the monkey. So once I finished colouring in the bananas, it was just time to finish off the cheetah. So I'm first using some E50s or E30s, I should say, actually, for his spots. And I'm just colouring those in. So I'm using E37, E35 and E34 as my darkest. Then once I finished colouring in his spots, I'm just using some YRs for the rest of his body. So I sort of looked up cheetah colours on Google just to get an idea of what sort of colours I should be using. This is what I came up with. I don't know if it's too realistic or not, but I do like the difference between the yellow and the brown spots. So for the cheetah, I'm using YR24, YR21 and also Y21 as my lightest. Then I just pulled out all of the coordinating dies and cut them all out. Now I'm creating two different panels for the front of my card and these just measure three and a half inches by five and a quarter inches I believe. I cut down two of them with some watercolour cardstock and then used a little stitched hillside border to cut one sort of at a hill shape. 
Then I'm using some Distress Inks to ink blend onto each of these pieces. I'm using Tumbled Glass and Salty Ocean for the blue sky for the background. And then I'm using some Twisted Citron and Mode Line for the uh, little green hill piece. But I probably should have done that brown. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it would have made a lot more sense. But I went with green and it looks fine in the end. But I think brown definitely would have been the better choice. So now that I have got both of those two pieces completed, it is time to assemble my card. So I use some fun foam to pop up that green hill piece on the bottom and then I'm building my scene around it just using a ton of different adhesives, some liquid adhesive and also some foam adhesive and I'm just placing them down where I think they're going to look best. I really wanted that ground to be super full of leaves and plants and things so I made sure that I added a ton around there and then I had a few extra leaves left over so I popped them at the top of the panel making sure to cut off all of the excess around the edges so nothing hangs off and I really love that clean look. So now that my panel's all completed, I need to work on the pattern paper for the background or the base of my card and also for that little strip at the bottom. So I just cut a piece of pattern paper from the Really Rainbow paper pad just down to size to fit on that front panel. So three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. And then I also cut down a little strip that I think was about three quarter inches wide by five and a half inches long and adhered that at the bottom of that base panel with some glue dots to give it a bit of height so my easel card could fit against it and hold it in place. Then I adhered my panel on top of that red piece as well and adhered onto the front of my card base. For the sentiment, I'm using the big hugs that I stamped earlier and adhered that down with a little bit of foam tape on the bottom red panel and also added a couple of extra leaves that I had handy with some liquid glue. Then for the last bit of the sentiment, I just used the slow down and enjoy set again and white heat embossed the you've got this sentiment onto a thin black strip of cardstock and then adhered that onto the front panel of my card as well. I really love this card. I actually didn't think I would like an easel card as much as I do, but I think it's a really fun design and how it can carry on from the top to the bottom of the card. I just think it looks really cute, super fun, and I absolutely love also pairing the slow down and enjoy stamp set with this Critters in the Jungle stamp set. I think it's super duper cute and they match really well together and I love how that little sloth and the elephant are hanging over the different objects. So that finishes up my card for today. I hope you enjoyed and were inspired and I will catch you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.